is Chandler Power. I drive for early learning here. I have an excellent group of kids that I pick up every morning. Uh, I love them to death. And um, my thing is having safety by getting them in the seat belts correctly and bringing them to school. I will do the same transportation in the evening. Early learning is a great place for kids, great place to work, and we do our best to uphold that standard here at Early Learning. Hi, I'm Tara Armstrong, CEO of Early Learning Scholars. We've been in existence for 21 years. We service children from six weeks to 12 years of age. We have a very diverse population here. Our children love coming here. We love what we do. We love teaching our children. Come along with me so you can see how much fun we have at Early Learning Scholars. A typical day at Early Learning Scholars is we greet our parents as soon as they walk into the door. We take our children's temperature to make sure that everything is okay, and then we start our day. Whatever time of the day it is, our children enjoy coming outside. They enjoy the fresh air. They enjoy playing on the different equipment. As you can see, we have some on the school bus, on the merry-go-round. Our children enjoy having fun at Early Learning Scholars. This area is our area for our younger children. They are fully equipped with toys as well, and they are having a good time. Months from now, we will be renovating this location. We will be um, building a new facility. Right now, this, this trailer houses our special needs children, and then we have the other trailer that houses our four-year-old classrooms. Once we are finished, we will have a building where all of our children can be housed in. We will have a state-of-the-art facility where we can teach our children about automation. We will have our STEM program in place and we will be the facility that these children deserve to have. Well, this building, which houses all of us right now, this building here will be renovated. We're gonna keep our outside structure, but we're gonna redo the inside. We're gonna also make this a facility of the state of the art as well. This portion of the building will house our infants to our two-year-olds. Hello, my name is Stanimira Georgieva. I'm originally from Bulgaria. Here I go by miracles, it's easier to pronounce. I am, uh, my background is uh, teaching uh, language, arts and literature, but after I came to the United States with my family, I got certified in early elementary education. So I'm a Georgia pre-K teacher and I'm a lead teacher and I'm with uh, early learning scholars for 11 going on 12 years. I work with kids uh, that are four or five years old. Um, we're getting them ready for kindergarten. Um, it is really rewarding teaching experience because uh, you get to be their first teacher. It uh, has a lot to do with uh, their uh, socializing, a lot of them come for the very first time in school and uh, the area work we work in, uh, Clarkston, is a very diverse community and uh, I can relate to the experiences our kids uh, and their parents have because I came to this country not speaking the language, I had to basically start from zero. I know how stressful it is to be in an environment where nobody understands you. So I can really relate to what our kids are feeling and how their parents are feeling when they try to communicate with us. And um, being part of early learning scholars is like being part of a family. Obviously, I've been here long enough, so for me, it's really familiar. I feel comfortable here. I really like working uh, with my coworkers. Uh, I, uh, I can't imagine, honestly, working anywhere else. I've been to other schools before I came here, but I'm so used to it now. I like it so much that I really don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. As I recently said to the director, I think I'm going to retire here. You know, we feel like we've done a good job. 
Hi, I'm Alicia Moore. I'm um, the pre-K teacher, pre- cult teacher, I'm sorry, in pre-K one, along with Miss Mira. Um, some of the things I want to talk about in our classroom is the different day-to-day things that we do in our classroom. For one, we always greet our children when they come in. We make sure that they we speak to them and we make sure they speak to us back. And then we have um, a little time at the table where they uh, either do some cutting, puzzles, anything to just get them ready for the morning. And then uh, we'll go over to breakfast and then we start our day. And we'll go into our circle time, which is our large group where we talk about what we're going to discuss for the day, um, what we're going to learn for the week. We choose helpers. Each child has a job to do in the classroom, which is nothing big, but it gets them to learn about being responsible and learning how to help others as well. Also, a big um, center in our classroom is our dramatic play area. And that area is very familiar to children because it's like home. And so they see things in the the dramatic play area and they want to pretend that they're at home and that makes them more comfortable. And they normally gravitate to that when they first start school and from then they start venturing out into the other centers in the classroom. But those are one of our two biggest centers in our classroom. A lot of the parents I know and I used to live in some of the communities of where these children live. So I have I've built a bond with them, seeing them on the weekends or when school is out or seeing them in the nearby grocery stores. So it's kind of like family, but I just recently moved and a lot of the parents are asking me like, where you been, where you been? I'm like, I'm still here, early learning. I haven't go, gone anywhere. And um, I've also seen some of the children who I had in 2015 and now they're in elementary school getting ready to go to middle school. So it's, it's amazing just still continue to work in the community and parents still recognize the the impact that you have had on their children. My name is Monique Cook. I'm the pre-K lead teacher. I've been here for seven years now. I have a three-year-old who attends here as well. She's been here since an infant. She loves it. I love it. She's thriving. Wouldn't be here if she would, if she wasn't. Um, when the kids are here, we are engaged in just about every domain of learning. This is our art center. When the kids are here, they're able to be as creative as they like to be. They are furnished with many, many resources here in the art center. This is our dramatic play area. This is where it comes to life. We get a lot of conversation here, a lot, a lot of different resources. They have a ball here. If all 20 kids want to come here, All 20 kids are here. We open it up, they jam in here. So we have a lot of fun in here too. Um, This is our math manipulative area, but where it happens at is way back there in the back. Our learning, it becomes real. That's our center time in the morning. Um, We talk about our day, how it's gonna start and how it's gonna end. Our calendar, our days of the week, we talk about what we did the night before, we talked about what we're going to do when we go home, our week and our vacation. We talk about how we like school. We talk about what we're going to be when we grow up. We talk about ELS. So um, our day is big here at Early Learning Scholars. So a lot is poured in and a lot of, a lot of good things come out of Early Learning Scholars. So I love it. They love it. I know they do. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. My name is Sonia McDuffie, and my kids call me Miss M, because they really can't get the McDuffie part right. And I teach about four years old, five years old. They just turned five years old, like during the springtime. And, and it's just a joy to teach them. I'm a grandmother. I miss my little ones from being little, so I just give them what I used to give my grandchildren. You can see around my classroom, this is the area that we gather in the morning. On um, my board, I try to make sure that it's a learning environment. Everywhere they turn, I want to make sure that there's something that will capture their attention with what they need to learn. Like the ABCs, we do a fun as well. We just go through all the alphabets and make sure that they are getting it. 
but it's a joy to talk to these kids and learn with these kids because I've learned so much even teaching them. We learn about uh, history. Sometimes we do our little dance and act on what we're learning. And that makes it so exciting for them. Pots of gold. They want to know what is pots of gold? Pots of gold, gold that we going to attend, we are gonna grow with. We do spring is here. We sing our song, spring is here, spring is here. How you think we know? And then we point at nature. We just saw a butterfly, a caterpillar, a bluebird, that is how we know. And we do so much fun things in this classroom. The community helpers. The community can help us. It tells me that when they get older, they are ready to figure out what we want to be. We want to be engineers. We want to be firemen. We want to do all those things. And I said, we want you to be those too. That's why you're in this classroom, so you can grow and learn how to be whatever you desire to be. This location, Early Learning Scholars too, is an extension of Early Learning Scholars. This location is just located a mile and a half from Early Learning Scholars. We have the same concept, we provide the same loving care as we do at the other location. Our teachers are, are, are loving and thrilled to teach these children here at Early Learning Scholars too. We service children the same age group from six weeks to 12 years of age. We have an awesome after school program at both locations. The vision is to combine both locations so we can come one big academy so that the children, they're, they're at a distance providing the same care, but now we're gonna make it one big academy so that all can be under the same roof. Hi, my name is April Williams. I am the center director here at Early Learning Scholars 2. Um, our daily operation is from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Um, I've known Ms. Armstrong for over 10 years. She hired me as a three-year-old teacher and I have worked my way up to be the center director. As far as the um, faculty, we're, we're like family here. Um, we are here to support each other. We're here for each other. As far as the parents, um, we're here to support the parents as well. Um, and it's like ministry. We're working with them one-on-one, -on -one, day to day. Um, my job here on a daily basis as a director, I interact with the children. Um, I come in, I speak to the children. I go to the classroom, maybe read a book to them um, once a month. Um, I sometimes do crafts as well with the children. I go on the playground and interact with them. Um, we do basketball games, kickball games. So um, the job as a director is never done. Um, this is the Georgia Pre-K. They come in anywhere from three-year-old to four-year-olds, and most term either four or five before the year is over with. Right now we're at the developmental stage where we're getting them ready for kindergarten. Um, where they're able to sit, um, concentrate, cutting, um, writing their first names and last names. So we just finished popping popcorn. We've been talking about seeds, edible seeds, and planting seeds. Um, we did the experiment with um, popcorn as an edible seed. They learned that, um, that there's water inside the kernel and as the water heats and expands, it has nowhere to go. So it expands into the popcorn, which makes that seed an edible seed. Ms. Armstrong really has a love. She's not only an owner operator, um, she really has the children's best interest at heart. Um, children that most facilities wouldn't serve or say that they couldn't serve, she's made a way to serve those um, children. Um, she cares about her staff. Um, it's, it's just been very rewarding working here, seeing someone that's an owner that's here on site all the time and that really has a passion and loves the children. Um, I'm very excited um, about the project. I've really just heard bits and pieces um, about the project, but I feel like that um, Whatever duty Ms. Armstrong has been handed, um, it will be a baton that is turned into success. She handles um, this business very well. 
Um, we basically serve a lot of um, children that are products of refugees and have been in refugee camps. Um, and just the care and the dedication for people that most people would throw away and that she's welcomed them in with arms. So whatever she does will be done with respect and with honor. Um, she's just been very excellent. I have no complaints, just admiration and excited about what's going to happen. The special needs instructor. So I'm very excited about expansion, very excited about educating our children properly. We are looking at a different set of children and generations than when we grew up, so we have to be very mindful. So I'm extremely excited, I'm going to believe the Lord for a good thing, and we will get expansions, and hopefully the things that we're doing, we can help other children, and, and they will see our bio, and will come and enroll here and bring their kids, because we believe no child left behind, regardless of whether it's a special need or what, no child left behind. We're having a ball here, teaching our babies. Hi, my name is India Martin. I had the pleasure of working with pre-K class at Early Learning Scholars. And a typical day at Early Learning Scholars, how it works, we have circle time. The kids come in and we go over letters, numbers, and our shapes. And then we also have center time. Um, and we also have our outside time where they get to go outside and have free time, free play. And then we come in and do, um, read a couple books, um, large group activities and small group activities. I am really excited about the new change and transition to the academy. I'm actually in my second year of teaching and I'm super excited to go forward with a larger um, facility and we'll be able to house more students and you know set that great foundation for more children that aren't able to get in right now. So we'll have a larger area to be able to teach more children. So if I'm working with a child with receptive communication disorder, an example of that session would be you know the child sitting down and maybe doing an activity involving um, storytelling. You know, every kid likes stories. A lot of the uh, activities are digital too, so and kids tend to really like the interaction uh, with the, the digital format. So we would go through the story, they would have the, uh, the opportunity to participate um, in answering questions interactively uh, with the storytelling. That would be one of the examples that we do with working with kids with receptive language disorders. Thank you for calling Early Learning. This is Ms. Tar speaking. How may I help you? Well, we are located in Clarkston. We have several different programs. We have a preschool program from six weeks to three years old. Then we have a Georgia Pre-K program, which starts at four years, as long as they're four, before September 1st. Um, we have a summer transition program for the children that are getting ready to go to kindergarten. We have a before and after care program for the surrounding schools and we do offer transportation to take them to school and pick them up from school. We have summer camp that helps with the children during the summertime and the summer campers have field trips and things like that. Um, we do have availability. What ages are we looking for? Right now we're sitting in the infant room of the Early Learning Scholars Development Center. And here, the babies have to be six weeks old before ever entering this particular room. And it's a very critical room, extremely critical room. The, ch the babies have to have lots of nurturing in this room. This is the foundation of development of the children. We teach the babies as well. This is where it all starts, in this particular room right here. I am assistant teacher for Pre-K-3. And the way we do our dismissal process is a little bit different due to COVID. So we have three teachers in the hallway, including myself, and I make sure that I call out the child's name loud and clear so they can hear me. Miss Lucy, can you send Rashad out for checkout, please? And I walk the child out to the parent, 
to make sure that they make it to them safely. And we let them know, have a great day, and we'll see them tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back, Tara Armstrong, President and CEO of Early Learner Scholars and Family Services. Whew, we had a busy day. Well, first of all, the whole design team was here. We are about to undertake this wonderful task of renovating and building out our new facility, our new child care facility, and we're about to introduce our um, design team, starting with Margaret Lee. Hi, my name is I'm Margaret Lee and my company is Design Styles for Living. We are a design build management company and we provide interior design services as well as we'll be doing all the project management for this project for the renovation and the new construction. And this is my wonderful team that's going to be assisting us on this project. Uh, my name is Taurus Speller and I'm going to be, I guess, the assistant project manager on this project. Lloyd Myers, president of L.A. Myers Architecture, and uh, we'll be assisting wherever necessary to make this project a total success, uh, doing architecture and planning as needed to assist Margaret. My name is Julissa Watley, and I am the director and founder of Lady Blue Technologies, and we'll be handling all the IT on this project, and I'm looking forward to working on it. I'm Tony Dawson with Dawson Engineering. I'll be handling all the civil that's going into this project. Looking forward to it. We talked about the how we were going to address the detention pond. We walked through the back of the property to see how um, large it was and to get a visual of what it looks like. We did a walkthrough of the current facility to see in our minds what we want the design to look like. It's been a really, really busy day, but it's so exciting to see how this is coming together. 